Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Monificent here and as promised I am bringing you guys a Dollar Tree um, DIY. Um, I like to call this one my Dollar Tree DIY Burlington dupe. I saw a piece at Burlington and I just thought it would be fun to recreate so that is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, the items that I'm going to be using for this Dollar Tree do I picked up I wanted some three by five frames but I didn't see any so I'm using some um, four by six Dollar Tree frames and I picked up 12 of them okay and you will see why in the next video um, these were all chrome frames which I was thought was really really pretty it almost made me wish that um, my home decor had silver in it because they were so so pretty um, and the reason that I chose these frames is because these were the ones that I could find um, in 12 all the same design and all the same size or whatever I didn't want to have the different looks so I wanted them to be all the same so I chose these ones but because my decor has the gold accents of course I went ahead and took some leftover spray paint that I had in the color um, in the color gold I believe by Rustoleum, of course because my accents are gold so you know whatever I recreate I wanna of course um, when you spend money on something of course you want to have it around in your home plus it's nice to look at your little creations in your home so I'm going to be using um, these and like I said I purchased 12 of these now the dupe that I saw um, I believe it went up pretty high but I didn't want mine to go up that high plus I didn't want to buy that many frames so yes yeah, so I'm going to be using um, those Dollar Tree 4x6 uh, picture frames I've already taken the glass and the backing and all of that out of it and all I have is just the frame left okay and then I'm going to be using one of these um, circle mirrors from the Dollar Tree as well and I think I'm going to be blinking it out I'm not quite sure but um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, get started with this uh, yeah I think I am going to go ahead and do that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started um, for this I don't need no E6000 because with the glass and everything out it is very very light so yeah all that rambling let's go ahead and get started with this DIY hopefully you guys have a good angle on what I'm doing here So I'm going to be taking my frame and I'm going to connect it just like that. I'm making a box with these frames, okay? So I'm going to glue the inside of the frame. guys I am back <laughs> let me tell you I had to cut the camera off and figure this thing out okay this was not an easy task but it's trial and error so that you know it's good that I'm doing this DIY so that I'm an example where I can learn and tell you guys from my mistakes so these um, picture frames that I use these actual picture frames that I use the chrome ones the hot glue was not working for them I believe it's because they were like metal like tan like so they were too slippery they would not adhere at all okay so I would suggest if this is in some kind of if this is something that you would like to do and tweak it or whatever I would suggest the wood picture frames and spray paint them to whatever color um, matches your decor whatever color that you want to use and then you're able to use your hot glue but these like tin metal like ones um, the hot glue will not work for it okay so I had to come up with another alternative which was I had to bring out my E6000 glue as well as my clamps that I purchased from Lowe's so that is what I had to do which actually slowed down this project so that's why I'm telling you guys now if this is something that you know you want to do um, you you know should think about buying um, the, uh, the the wooden or whatever those other picture frames because 
yeah I was wrestling with this okay it was just the sliding the hot glue was not sticking whatsoever so yeah I had to use my clamps and um, the hot glue and so now I have my box that I uh, wanted okay now what I'm going to be doing is because we have this indentation with our box or with my box um, I'm going to be taking um, my diamond wrap of course I'm going to be taking my diamond wrap okay and I'm just going to go down each center piece with that diamond wrap so I'm going to take it all the way around So hopefully you guys are getting this. Let me move you in a little bit closer. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do that on all the edges so that you can't see. Uh oh. So that you can't see the where the two um, meet. okay guys so there we have it that is what my box is looking like right now okay and just to save time on this video I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the other two boxes off camera because I wasn't sure if it was going to stick so yeah that is what that is looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other two off camera and then I'll come back for the next step okay okay guys I have completed all of my boxes off of camera like I said um, I only did three boxes and um, I was able to do them all out of this nine uh, feet diamond wrap I'm going to take my next box and now I can feel secure with going ahead and placing my next box at whatever angle I want to place it on and this is kind of difficult because you don't really know how to glue it so I think the best point I'm grabbing a marker and I'm marking the points where my little box is meeting at just so I know where okay guys I am back I was <laughs> I've been all over all over with this project so I think you know I had to let my creative juices flow so I think I got um, I think I finally got what I want to do with this um, project so 
I got some of these glass mirrors. I already have them actually. I told you guys I buy these things and just throw them away, tow them in my craft bucket. Okay, so what I have here is you guys already seen me put these two pieces together. Okay, so that's what that looks like. It's nice and dried and everything. So what I'm going to do is I want to take my mirror candle plate that I have here. Let me scoot you guys back. I want to take my mirror candle plate that I have here and I'm just going to glue that on the inside right here. so that is what so that is what that looks like okay I have that glued on now I'm going to take uh oh now I'm going to glue the three pieces together and I want to glue them like this secure yep seems to be pretty secure okay so that is what that's looking like that's what we have so now I'm going to take um, two more of these square candle plates that I have here and I'm going to have this one go in at a diamond shape like that So, uh oh. So, I'm just going to put my hot glue down. Okay, so that's what that end looks like. I have that going at a diamond shape. And then I'm going to place the one up on top in a diamond shape as well uh -oh. then I'm going to take two of these tea light candle holders and I'm just going to place them there I know I said I was going for some look, but like I said, my creative juices got to flowing and I decided to go a different route. So this is what I came up with. I guess I want to pull that out first. So, And then I also purchased two of the battery operated um, one... Uh, 60 no I'm sorry 120 hour little lead candle holders and they look like that and I place them inside of there and you don't even have to glue the rest of these items down they just set down in there perfectly you can just set it down uh -oh. you can just set it down this one doesn't want to stay on for me Okay, well, let's just do this one. Okay, and that's what we have, guys. So, as always, so that's what we have. I know you guys can't really see the top, so as always, I'm just going to clean up my mess, and then I'll come right back to you to showcase this thing. So hang on one second. 
so this is it you guys this is my my tiered candle holder and I really like the way it came out yep that is it for this video I just used some 4x6 picture frames and then we have some bling on there and then I also added just a little bit of bling right there as well and for here uh, I have my candle plate right there so that's the mirror right there and then there is those so yeah I really like the way this came out you guys comment down below and tell me what you think about this um, I hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload because as you know I have many 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 more videos to bring you guys um, I look forward to uh, the winners of the giveaway so yeah um, I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day weekend um, to all you mothers out there happy Mother's Day and I will talk to you guys in my next video God bless.